Good morning, guys. A good, great morning to all of those who tuned into the realest thing in the world. And I can tell you, I feel that way. I feel good. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Like I should. You know, in life, sometimes it's not you time. <laughs> When I look at greatness, when I when I think of where I want to be, when I think of where I want to be, when I look at what constitutes greatness, if you look at the world and see what constitutes greatness, it's not perfection. It's resilience. The main attribute to greatness is resilience, staying the course. Every great empire fell after losing course. Ships run aground after losing course. Relationships end after losing course. It's simple. It's not perfection. Nobody cares about that. The royal family has survived so many things. Diana brought so much attention to the royal family. She died and at the end of that, the royal family continues. The queen died. She reigned for so long. It's the course. You keep on course. Right? You don't forget that. Marilyn, a good morning to you. Mel Chan, good morning. Carla, good morning. Shanika, good morning. Shani, good morning. Jez, um, good morning. Sita, Naresh, Violet, Anthony, Sumish, Shafiq, Wander, Shirley, Shem, Vidya, David, Pamela, Linda, Babita, Sonita, ecotourism, yes. Hello there. Ecotourism is a big person. Them in Noam. Them, them fresh. Ecotourism. I know who's ecotourism. Uh, Alex, you just wake up. Um, thank you for informing me. Were you lying on your belly or your back? PDD there by you. We're looking for PDD. PDD there by you. You just wake up, Alex. Where is PDD? And how you wake up on your belly or your back? Since you're giving us all this information in the morning. Yes, brother. Herman, Lorraine, Dolly, Arjun, Data, Marilyn, Sati, Rena, Robert, Chandra, Rose, Vidya, Tabu, a good great morning to you. Farda morning. Chetram, Joan, Kamla, Annie, Lynette, Radha, Brian, Amber, good morning to you. Hema, Gomati, Karen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Critic, what is the government doing to protect citizens and investment from the high tide, especially the countryside, where is some is being made to look as if we are not part of Guyana? Vereen, um, what is the government doing? You don't see the ministers and the president with buckets bailing out fucking water? What do you think they're doing? 
Have you never seen photographs of the president having buckets at state house waiting to bail out water? My I must relax here. You come back and scunt for something important. If you read Sunday papers, you would realize that the, con the, the, the government is constantly giving out contracts. If you were well read, you were well informed. You understand? And not a fucking coastal farid, riffraff farid, like, like, like smelly smell. You would have been informed as to what is going on in the country. Because what Guyanese constitutes news is the say. Mm -hmm. Guyanese can't say, I have heard. I have read. Guyanese don't say, I have read. I have read in Reuters. I have read in Kaichur. I have read in Stabrook. And if you're read in Kaichur, it's just like if you get a say. It's a hear, say. After failing so much lawsuits, after lying to the people them so much time, they lied to the people about the Barbies Bridge, they lied to the people about Amelia Ward, they lied to the people about Marriott Hotel, they lied to the people about Hope Canal. After so much time, the paper is a sese paper. So, Veron, this thing we are asking about is a nonsensical question. Because the government continued to award contracts that the riffraff, you know what is the riffraff? The riffraff is the rocks that is put. Smelly smell went away with some punch of farid. The riffraff, she got a riffraff farid. She got far local city defense punch of farid in America. Right? So it's a stupid question. Man critic yesterday, I was at a meeting with Jaffer Ali, an RDC chairman, and I asked them the same question, and none of them could provide an answer. One of them asked me if they should build sea defense. Now, what I'm saying, you are not informed. Where is sea defense got a problem? You tell me where the sea defense has got the problem. When you're going up my Coney area, the city defense had a problem there. It has since been fixed, flooding to the community and all the things. I think some compensation has been given. I'm not sure, right? Because I know the contractor who was there, and at the time I was looking at doing contracts like that, so I pay close attention to things that I have an interest in. They're constantly upgrading the city defense and all the NDC never know about Local government. The local government doesn't know about that. Mm -hmm. This is the ministry. The, the, the sea defenses come under the Ministry of Public Works. All the sea wall, all the sea wall. Mm -hmm. And they're continually upgrading. Even a lot of the islands. You see a lot of contracts of fixed areas. If you do some research, you will find your way. You just got to do a little bit of research. You understand? A little bit of research. Going to carry you a far way. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, what did I do? What the hell have I done? So I close the thing. March, April 13th. Okay. Roger. Yeah. Right? So if that answers your question, what, what? Not to beat up on your very own. I don't know if you're pronouncing your name uh, properly. But not a beat up here, but it becomes annoying hearing stupid questions. Because here was the funny thing. You ain't got the fucking problem. You can't tell me about a part of the city fence that got a problem and leaking. And ain't being addressed. You just want to know what doing with the sea. You see a dime and you want to know what doing. Because somebody tell you about fucking global warming and the thing coming over the sea and all them things. Every time we get flood in this country, it's as a result of rain. Not the sea defense breaking. In my lifetime, I've never had an expect an experience. Massive flooding, by the way. We did have the Maikoni area when the flooding in the community. Right? But all the time when we have flooding is as a result of rain within. I will send you some videos of Good Faith Beach in Maikoni next to high tide. It's flood. Listen to me, high tide is come over the fucking concrete sea wall by Sherry Street too. It comes over the seawall by Sherry Street too. You never see that. You never pass and see that. How you are liquid and come over. You never see that one. 
You have to stop concerning yourself with things that are not in your control. Can you do it? What is the government doing? Fear, you brought it to people's attention. Do you have a problem? Move out from the fucking area. Go and live in, there's a new Silica City. We're building Silica City. An initiative of the government and, and, and a vision of the president. Go to Silica City. Go to Highland. Sell out your land. Right? Rose, good morning. Kesha, good morning to you. Alex still talking? We say he got PDD by he? I was thinking last night. Right? I was looking last night and I'm thinking. <laughs> you know, this world is a real racist world and got black people don't bat. PDD. Bug a set of people who become stars. You got people fighting. For Bogo. You got people fighting for Bogo for not getting nothing. P. Diddy, a black entrepreneur, didn't discriminate. It is said that he soften up Justin Beaver and everybody. He soften white, black, mix everybody. You know what I'm Bogo set the people. When the Catholic Church, Bogo the Bible never get nothing. Nothing for it. PDD soak it in them and they sing song about it. Everybody become a star. Everybody make money. No, you do not come part of it. PDD do this. R. Kelly piss on them. Nobody noticed them before R. Kelly the piss upon people. Nobody didn't know them, girl. I sure. The first time I get the piss, somebody went out and marry she. And constantly watching it, she know. RDD, the piss on this girl. This me wife now. Yes, sir. R. Kelly, not RDD. <laughs> R. Kelly. No. I hear that man like shit from people and I can anything. If I didn't know, I could have become a man. I could become like a Justin Beaver. People shitting by you. I would have been a fucking nut but a sandwich by now. Tell you because the white people doing these things for fun. I don't understand what's the Y'all simultaneously watching and saying, Yeah, yeah, LGBT man turning into a whole woman and island thing now. PDD breaking the back door and send them off like. Rockets to space, like a SpaceX. You understand? Which white man you know doing thing? When the white man do it, you traumatize. PD send them out. I got him singing the song. Hey, partner, I just want to make sure them buys up on the ground. I send the by number to you. I send the by number to you. Oh, I just, I just went out there with all them. I show all right, safe, safe. Roger, 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 Roger. Safe, safe. Roger that, bro. Roger that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm thinking about it. What's wrong with these people? A black entrepreneur with some proclivities. Of which y'all is. Here now. America got man turning woman, woman turning man. Every fucking body confused. What P did he do? P did he do P did he things? You imagine you watching a man and he named P did he? You go into a man party named P did he? Did he did he do do that did he P did he? R Kelly, you going out with R? We you thought R Kelly you doing? Is this the right name? They must change your name. They ain't got you change your name. My name is Mikhail Rodriguez. Guyanese critic. No, you don't. The critic, you know what the word means. You got some, you going to my people fucking party. We even know what the word did. It's dick, dick, dick. 
Shooting off like an AK in your crick. The answer, you didn't know what he going on? Now they in awe. Stories coming up, PDD used to shit for people. If I know PDD used to shit for people, let's get famous. I want to fucking walk in so hard, go have a fight with the PNC, fight with smelly smell and all them things. I did turn a nut, but the sandwich done already. If it's there, God do. Years ago, was the Illuminati. I tell you all about the Illuminati. Everybody, that's all. And thing. And create an atmosphere. Got everybody thinking it's a spiritual thing. That just boggle left, right, and said, though. You understand? People think it's some spiritual thing. I got people believing in it. And one said, hey, Illuminati. You know? Yeah. Rasta. Yeah. Thing. And, and thing. And, and putting up the hands. So. And when you see you know, one fucking conspiracy, everybody looking so. And when you look so, you feel a sharp pain in your big hole. It's PDD. You understand? It's PDD. Next thing you, the hot, hot, hot. And rains that fall for you at the says R. Kelly. Them man is just entrepreneurs come up with an idea motivating you. You understand? No, I tell you. <laughs> if you could do these things to become famous, why well, you believe all these stars are screw, screwed up? But still, they got screwed up, people ain't got nothing. They're trying to deal with this thing where they're dealing. With. If you ain't got people open and transparent, you ask yourself, what going on? The whole world, the Americans create a scenario. Conspiracy, got people looking for alien. You looking up for alien. Then when you sit on back, you sit on from PDD lap. <laughs> That's that. How about you watch up so you get the sprinkles of thing you see seeing thing like a fucking eclipse? How about you watch up properly? The eclipse is normally be wrong like this. It's a long man thing is 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 R. Kelly pissing down from the sky point. You understand? So we got. Let me show you all the <laughs> Me and I, partner. Look, the girl do over there. She can get her own talk show. If she tell PDD, as you see this far day, sir, this far is a representation of a coastland on a far, far land of South America on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean. You understand? And PDBD just pissed when she fired and she got famous right away. You see Alice fight with me. She got fight. She got fight. She trying to get numbers and all in the left. Her story come with that PDD. Piss and smelly smell. She would be famous right away. Every people would be coming from all over parts of the world just to see she. You understand? It's just that we ain't got them links here. Not PDD is the pisser, man. R. Kelly is the pisser, yeah. Like, I confused with them and all with the weird shit we're doing. You understand? But it's never said it's not part of life. So it was this, oh, PDD do people this, R. Kelly do people this. Is this what I fucking want? Is this what I vote for? They are watching a TV. I be like, a man turned a woman and Kelly Jenner. I said fucking weirdos. And then when you turn on, a black man bug and next one, and like, this is the society you live in. This is where Alice Depp on. How in the same news piece, in the same news hour, one hour, you could watch a thing and, yeah, transgender man turn woman, transgender man, they woman sports, beating the living daylights out of the woman. And then you got probably P. Diddy. And this is society you create. Little children using suppressants, Hormonal suppressants or enhancements and all them things now. And the eighth children could make decisions, cut out the lowly. And all them things now. And, and PDD is the worst of it. Huh. Yeah, stop with this chippiness. Let me move on with your life. And I'm telling y'all.
If people knew you could get somebody for shit for you and get famous, none of you would have been nut butter sandwich. This fucking country would have been Subway. <laughs> I tell you. Subs and salads. Yeah, I tell you. Right? So, I gave me an update. I will go in and down at Bellevue. And this is a drone shot. Oh my God. These shots are so beautiful. So Bellevue coming up sharp. And I got to give y'all. I'll be giving you guys constant updates because of the fact that um, Bellevue, the Bellevue pump station has become one of the most or made to be one of the most controversial um, projects because of the fact that I am the um, founder of the company it is a part of the project so what you're looking at is the found, the the preparation for the site we already have about 40 piles to make um, to create an area so now what we got to do what I what these piles got to do so now we got black half here because this is what we got change right two pumps are going on either side of this um, of this uh, sluice the coca and there's a complete video when we get in the video um, Araiki Tomorrow? Okay, so tomorrow you'll have a complete video where I walk through the works, I talk and show you everything on the ground. This is just some preview. This is just some footage from the um from the the um the drone. And this is 4K footage. Here, watch. Let me see. I don't know if I can zoom in up here. Nah, I can't zoom in from the video. But this was this is Powerful video. So what we gotta do, we got black off the Marara River here. And then this whole area has to be excavated, drain out and excavate. We gotta go down and build foundation. He said this way you're seeing here. Right? So just giving you a few shots of what exactly is going on. And this is the operation, the driving down pile here. And I think they in full color when it's coming up on the phone, you know. You see they're driving the pile there. We've already um so this whole area had to be cleaned up, it had to level up the all those works that were done already. Site offices put in electricity, um, is already put in okay, okay. I know I know it's why we got the dullness. The greenery. The greenery caused the dullness. Sorry about that, guys. But you can't get it better where we use in this um chroma key. Right? But these are just shots. And, and I want to share this with you guys because in light of transparency and openness, you know, we have never um, shied away from addressing. This is, that's a 22 RB drag line. If you don't know or if people might know, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, God, do it like that. Just use me vice. Yeah, do it like that because um, it really shows the essence of what's going on. It's just amazing you know, looking at this work site and, and looking at the process. Now, just to put things into context for you, nothing goes on in this work site without supervision. So you see there's a man standing there. This is the consultant. And as the pile is driven, as this pile is being driven, he is take off the morning thing at the bottom too. The morning live. So they could get to see the whole thing. Right? As the pile is being driven, he is constantly monitoring it right mm -hmm. so there's nothing that goes on in this site without supervision you as the contractor still have to do the thing and manage your money and all these kind of things right but um it's not critical you see how much people they don't there? you got truck operators you got engineers you got people. it's not critic there with a fucking sledgehammer people just think like it's me they don't there with a sledgehammer and i do anything i excavate operators you got hire people with experience and skill you understand? Me and I have to pick up them pile and say, I got machinery for Duda. You understand? And we have lots of machine on the, machines on the ground. And I can tell you, um, you know. Yes, well, well, I'll show you all. Here was the next thing. The country can't say they see. You see from the start. Hey, partner. Hello. Talk to me. I, I the Queenstown. You wanna come over here? Yeah. And then we can head over to Bell if you see it. Where you coming from? Um, I'm at the site now in Diamond. In Diamond. Well you um, we need what? We, we need to get this hauler. We need to 
Mm -hmm. So we're holding up. Why are you saying we doing the Wham to Shazam? Get, get Shazam. All right. Yes, yes. He had to do. He had to do something with it. But we don't have another driver. He had another driver yesterday doing the job. Because Luke went yesterday and bring the, the piles. Fine, I'll go in and, and, and let me get this out of safe. I did clean so. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm showing you in detail and to put it into context as to what we're doing is not no easy job. It's not no easy job. This is the Demerara River you're looking at. The Demerara River is leading direct to my work site. I got black off the Demerara River. So the same thing what the am talking about what we do with the Sea Wild and so I got black off the Demerara River. So just to give you a context, this is the Demerara River we're coming in from. I got black off the hey now. Hey, I got black off hey massive operation me start working you know, on this is preparation for work black and half is preparation for work that's not the job that's preparation for the job right and you will see as it progress we ain't got no we ain't got no hiding what we doing so the job to put it into context is building of a new sluice here and two pumps going to the side so this used to be open coca what we call coca this open the coca and the water just drain all these lands as far as i can see going down to the back of number two canal and says so drain a certain areas so this here area we going down in this whole area here now we gotta dig out this whole place here now that's why we make so much area this one side to work to set up to, to do the job right just to put it in the context for you to understand what we have to deal with because when the news tell you even the people who talk in the news don't know what they're talking about they've never built a fucking pump station yeah partner how you know So what we gotta get for do it? Use it. But, but let it tell the guy who was the problem and the car laugh and pull back right away. No, not only that, you got things to do. For look, I thought it's another driver went yesterday. To, they had a they had another driver. Oh shit. If you got anybody in working massage, they got fired him. We can't have people like that working with me. Safe, Roger that. Safe. Eh? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Talk to me. Ta yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe. Eh? So, to put it in the context, what you guys are looking at here, right? And in light of, you know, we here, me don't keep nothing away from you. So, this is the Bellevue Pump Station site. We got to go down here, give me y'all a show y'all way there. And as it progress every month, you understand? We can show you where we there, what we doing, how we progress. If they got shark comments, we can live through this whole process. Since the one show meeting, mommy, and come today. I didn't get a chance. I was busy up to last night. I'll come today, though. I just okay here now. Hmm. Yeah, I hear anything but Sean. Well, I hear things but Sean and that, but mommy, don't worry about Sean. I tell you already, Sean is the last cast. Don't worry about Sean. What happened? All right. Nothing. Don't worry about Sean, ma. You at the end of your life, live a happy, healthy life. The rest of we make it. Now all of we just make it. I love you, ma. I'm ma. She's worried about the last cast. Yeah. 
So I'm showing you all we're going on here, right? Here is the, the, the area we walk in, we, we black in half, and, and if you come back to this side, we just, before we turn around, this here is the trench we had to black off. So you had to bring in material, black off the trench, the trench had to be diverted here, the trench is diverted, the trench coming all the way for service, all these back dams, rice land and farming land at the back there. It come, it used to come straight here, now it's been diverted to go that way, heading back to number one, um, to Canal Head site. And we black off here now to have a better working area in this area. So we black off until then. Now we got black off on the Demerara River side, as I was showing you guys. You understand? And we ready for action. I think I show you all them banner. You got these, you got footage from this thing in the, in the thing, right? Yeah. So... This morning, we can take in calls a little early. We can take in calls from half an hour. The number is 622-7740. Call, call, say what you want. Um, ask for a question you want. Tell me what you want here. Right? What's your opinion? If you got one, most guys into opinionated. Um, the Guyana police force is looking for these fellas. Kellan Fredericks is wanted um if you see him anywhere he wanted for murder so these people dangerous he's wanted for the murder of in in um relation to the murder of zahir muhammad sheriff right and what should two people And Don Van Washington. Now, who is these two people, man? Me, how oh, me know about this? How oh, me know about this murder? And this one, he, and we are reached the AK by just now. <laughs> Roman Henry. Right? He's also wanted for murder in connection with the same people. Well, he want, he, Don Van Washington and Sean Albert. So the two of them commit a murder together, and then this one commit more murder than the other one. Where's this by? This here is so easy. So we taking the call six two two seven seven four zero. Oh, the minor from Bartica. Okay, okay. Six two two seven seven four zero. Call. Let me talk. What about you? What am I hearing from nobody? 6227740. So the mine and the co worker. Thanks, Christina. Let me see what in my WhatsApp messages that people want me to talk about and issues to address. Do not mention my number. You get this message from or play my voice note loud on your ear. All right. So somebody gave him a report here of a GDF officer dying uh, in training. Uh, now nah, officer, GDF rank, dying um, in training yesterday. So we waiting for here. We're we'll, going we'll to come out the door. Um, so. I promise you all something yesterday, and I forget I was following up with it. After I left here, I went about trying to get the information as it relates to the young man the Smelly Smell spoke about. 
right? Um, that was locked up for six days at East Le Penitence Police Station. Now, East Le Penitence is a female station, so nobody don't get locked there. So she had the place wrong first thing. So I have to go, when I find East Le Penitence is a female station, they don't lock up males there. So the story come around. Remember, investigative journalism is a unique skill. And when you go into it, when you in, disseminate the information, getting information and disseminating information is two different things. Like, smelly, smelly photo that you post up with the commissioner suggesting his son is one of his son, one of them who's a pastor. Not the one specifically she referring to. I called the boy with the club yesterday. Boy, is anything happening by he? Now he's claiming the thing ain't happened by he. I said, partner, the police saying you got deny yourself. Hey, we dealing with facts. We putting thing out there. Whether commissioner, or whoever involved, we talking. I find out if there was a shooting incident, I find out when the boy said it didn't happen by him. Now, I am telling you. As police reports suggest, it happened by him. There was no shooting. After the incident, all the persons were tested for gunpowder residue. And presently, there is a file before the DPP. Presently. So this is not a rich man, poor man thing, commissioner, son, special. No, 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 no. Bail, yes, go up on bail. But this spice of the story, they like this in fashion. Now they buy. I have a report here. Rocky Frank is his name. He's 17 years of age. Of East Romvelt squatting area. Rocky Frank is his name. Male Negro, aged 17 years. Right? Offense, alleged larceny of battery power tools and a quantity of fuel valued, of fuel value, which occurred on the 4th, the 6th of this month, at 2 18 hours at the ice house. He was arrested at 2.30 by an impact patrol. The suspect was released. When he was released? The suspect was released on the 24th. On the 4th. No, no, no. You can't get... They give him a conflicting thing here, man. He was arrested. They got the dates. L let me let me put it up there before people mix up. The, I, I don't worry. Now. So let me get this right. Let me get this right. So he was arrested two o'clock on the sixth. Cause what they got? They got 06, 04, 2024. And then they got 2024, 04, 10. So try to figure out which is the month, which is the date. So zero six, we the fourth month. Forgive is me, right? We the fourth month. So two o'clock, two thirty, on the sixth day, and let me pull up. No, let me pull up. This thing. So, on the sixth day, that was Saturday. Two o'clock he was held, right? So Saturday to Sunday, two o'clock is one day. Sunday to Monday, two o'clock is the next day. Two. Monday to Sunday is one day, right? Two. Three days. Yes, you can't hold people more than 72 hours. So he was released on the 10th. Right? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, brother. A call concerning a visa on Facebook. 
You call concern of what? A visa for sale on Facebook. No, no, no. Somebody trying to pull on a hoax for you. They just put me number all over the place with intention to irritate me. Me ain't got no visa for sale, buddy. All right. Hello, good morning. Hey, good morning, sir. I see you got an ad up there. Oh, Jesus the Christ. Somebody trying to throw me off my course. No, no, me ain't got no visa for sale, brother. It's a hoax. Oh. They must put the car up cheap and car. They're going to throw me off. Meditation, not this much. I care. I like the car. Remember, I don't get a, car, a custom to call hundreds of times. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hi. Good hey, morning. I see this one post of Vezo for sale. A what for sale? A Vezo. No, no, no. It's gone already. We sell it to PDD. PDD, they don't get any. Oh, yeah. what the price here they look selling it for, though? They got the price up there, man. No, I mean, still get the price. You buy them reasonably, you buy them reasonably. But you don't want to jump in the vehicle. That thing, they got backlash inside of it. Yeah, safe. Yeah, it's Yeah. It got a little... <laughs> PDD buy the vehicle, man. PDD buy the vehicle. The man still has the price. Here, people are in farm. Like, like, a PDD? Because <laughs> PDD name can't lie about the place. You say PDD, bro? Buy a vehicle in Guyana? The, you understand? Hello, good morning. Hello, Mark. Yeah, brother. I see you're going to use the for sale. I wonder. No, no, no. I, I, it's, it's celery to PDD. So it's sell? Yeah, yeah, sir. Oh, we got I, I don't want it. Yeah. yeah. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hi, you have a brown vessel for sale? No, no, it's celery to PDD. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hey, morning, brother. Um, when you do a contract, a road contract, yeah. how much guarantee you just give the government? Like what? The government? Give the government? You can't give the government how much guarantee the government is tech. No, you... but here what happened. I wrote to in Haslington last two weeks. Mm. We wrote to in Haslington new scheme. Stack and street, the man in roll it, right? Mm. And the road crack up and the man in gone. Listen to me. There is a amount of money that is be held back from the contractor, the roads that I do over the West Coast, I ain't get the completion of the money until now. So there's an amount of money we don't lose. You understand? But you got a number you can call and get an engineer to go and see this road? Um, no, man. Listen to me. I got a number for call. Them the engineer are the past count. You understand? You okay, take out a know? picture and post it on your Facebook as a concerned citizen with all the detail and name and so. You understand? Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. Take out a photograph with it detailing. This road just built this day, and this is the condition of it already. Do you know the contractor name? No, it's a man from the William side. You know name? Well, once you got a road, which specific road was done, you're going to know, the, the, the government going to know for going to find is who's the contractor. You understand? Yeah. You post That's it up. You don't cover up for nobody. Skin up. Man. Let me go cover up. I be so long. I be never going to load. I be going to load. And only two weeks now when he died. Yes, get them out of there. Safe. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Roger that. No, no, con um, engineer. Hello, good morning. Hi, I'm Les. Good morning to you, uh, Mr. Critic. Yep. Um, this is a partner from Farfi Army. Hey, bro. What's up, bye? Yeah, yeah. Um, long time I hear from you. What my little lady had you locked down? No, this is, you know, you know this, this is gentleman who we'll, we'll, we'll meet you with, 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 with the government. Yes, but the sign before, even before they has called one, one time and thing. It doesn't call before? No, you no, 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 a little busy, a little busy. Oh. Let me talk, let me talk about something in a serious matter to Annie because as I see people talking oh, PDD and, 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 and sales for these and things. Let me, mm. let me talk about something serious man. You know, um, why, 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 why we don't really touch on like, in, increasing the uh, the noises of the, the salary and you know and, and I'm noticing like like like, like people people want to import um teachers and and an and import noises from Dubai. But if so, you don't if you don't have what happens, the intention is to create a balance because the teachers union has been infiltrated by the opposition. So mm -hmm. there's no regular fairness that could be dealt with them. It will become a case whereas the dissatisfaction is not the teachers. Is the teachers' mm -hmm. union that is leading the teachers by the nose? Um, yes, yes, it become yes. a case whereas they will be forever dissatisfied. Um, the healthcare like, system it, 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 at, it, 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 at Georgetown it, it, Hospital, mm -hmm. there is need for fourteen hundred. They don't exist. Not for said they got nurses and they walk in. Okay. 
<laughs> so the importation of nurses is not to replace existing nurses. It's because we ain't got okay. and it's nurses has nothing to do with teachers. Mm -hmm. You understand? I, if we're asked, would lobby um, to bring in some teachers can, to have an experience of a different educational system. Right? You know, can, I, can I ask you a question? Um, is, it, is, is the nurses, is it, we, don't, we don't put the teachers them getting political um, tricked or whatever, right? Mm. And they can get a whole lot for what they're asking for. Mm. But um, can, 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 can you get a little insight if the nurses or Guyanese nurses are satisfied to what they're working for and and then and if, 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 if they feel being if they feel being, being disenfranchised that that nurses are coming from Dubai. Do you do you um do you yeah. no how they can be disenfranchised? If you can't do the work, how are you gonna be disenfranchised? Mm -hmm. No, here was the next thing. It is not indicative of human behavior to ever be satisfied. If you ask somebody who has more if they want, if you ask me, like me, yesterday I sent Paul for go for contract for bid. He have a five billion dollar in contracts and I go for more. I understand. I want more I doing as much as I can do or as much as I can get. Yes, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but um but but, but um if you could do a story on all our game, you know, just it is mm. satisfied with the condition. Well, I can uh, tell you. I am not satisfied with the performance at Georgetown Hospital. Because you want to tell you what has happened? So nurses, not Georgetown Hospital, the nurses, and I think a foreign infusion of nurses will change the, would be ideal to, well, the first thing is, so Georgetown Hospital alone, short of 1,400 nurses, right? Georgetown Hospital alone. Where you think we get the nurses for full of these hospitals? You got to take Ken cut and train them as nurses? Yeah, yeah, I agree with you 100% because here we have no way. We don't see the point because uh, good, we got we guys, he's not just yet, and, um, but they're they, 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 they very disrespectful to their citizens. No, well, here now, no, no, no. Let me tell you, when you're working in the public health care system, yes. they start with a labar jabar behavior. Because here, why? Yeah. They are nurses exactly. that work in the public health care system. And when they go to a private hospital, they act differently. The same nurse. And why is that? Is because the private hospital will yeah. fire them without fear or favor. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. At the yeah. public hospital, when you're a public servant, there's a process that you have to go through, a lengthy process to fire people. So I am looking at them and I'm calculating they need somebody to come and motivate them to change their behavior. Because yeah, nonetheless, yeah, when you're a service provider, you are providing for people who very much need it. Unlike education is important. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's not education yeah. got me here today. I don't find it to be the most important thing. But life is, is health. It is mm -hmm. the mere, our mere existence. You understand? Yeah. You got to live before you study. Yeah. You gotta live um, before you get bright. Yeah, you know, for the record, right? I just want, I just want the, the, the viewers and the listeners to, to, to know. Um, I, I, I'm a very neutral person. I'm, I'm, I'm not political affiliated with no party. I, I, I just want, I just want the best out of Guyana. Yeah. I want, I want the best for them too. Guyana. I want the best, I, I want the best for them too. Guyana, right. So, so I don't, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want nobody to listen to me saying, I'm "Okay, I'm a PNC or." No, 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 no. Here, you asking for the rights? I'm a neutral man. I'm a you neutral asking man. for people's rights, but you talking for people is yeah. what men do. You're a protector, you're a provider, you understand? You exactly. see exactly. issues. Exactly. Maybe you got somebody's a nurse or something, you're thinking, how better can be done for? It's a human mm -hmm. thing, and you're a good person. Yeah. Thanks for being a yeah. good guy, any citizen, brother. Yeah, I, do, I just want the best. I just want the best for everybody. The best for everybody. So Roger. Roger that, brother. Cool. Don't like you. Have a blessed day, sir. Safe. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, I see you got a business. It's sell, it's sell already to PDD. Pardon me? It's sell, it's sell already. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. PDD buy it. Since PDD see it, he know he need a car for drive wrong, Guyana. So he buy it right away. PDD come wrong, you use the guy and he's walking with shit for the forehead. <laughs> Only famous! <laughs> hey. 
Navy Cell Cares. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah, my brother. Um, is it for that post there and people pick that? No, it's already sold. PDD bought it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, good morning. Hi, morning. This is the person I put up the vehicle to sell. Already sold. PDD bought it. Okay. Was it, is it 1.5 or it's sell here. All right. Thanks. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. I see you just posted the speaker. Yeah, it's already sold. PDD bought it. Pardon? PDD bought it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what now? If you're feeling lonely, post up your number. Some people, nobody in calling, they're watching the phone, they ain't got nothing going on in their life. You post up, you got a vehicle cheap for sale. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Are you the one who had to post up the Brazil for sale? No, it's already sold. No, R. Kelly bought sold. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, R. Kelly bought it. <laughs> here now here I can't make up these things buddy yeah don't get me for me nerves yeah hello good morning hello good morning um I saw Adam on Facebook is your vehicle still up for sale no it's uh, PDD bought it Pardon me? It's already sold. It's already sold. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If you see R. Kelly and PDD driving around in a vehicle, is a vehicle the same? A vessel or whatever? Oh, no, they buy it from me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You know, if you ain't got nothing going on in your life, you post up something cheap. And people start calling you, and you get can You could get girls, so yes, I have the car. You want to see the car? Yes, eh? You could even get here. There's a good way for catch girls, you know, Adaiki. You post your car cheap. But when you remember, you got some problem when it comes, right? You, 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 you got a good car. And you take a clot and put on the engine. So when they come, they watch the car. And you say, oh, well, I just got to fix this thing with the engine. And right there, people don't want nothing with fix it. No engine, you yes, eh? So, but the girl not come to see the car. If your auntie man buy come, yes, everybody coming. But you, your gaff with people, your farming conversation, you're making friends. You got car for sale. There's a way for make friends. You sell something cheap. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? All right, talk to me. Um, I see you put up that man that for sale. Yeah. R. Kelly bought it already. Huh? R. Kelly bought it already. Okay. Yeah, yeah, safe, buddy. Yeah. He calling from America. He might be calling from America for buy the thing. Hello, good morning. Hi, you have any vessel and excavator to sell for 1.5? It's, it's, it's already sold. PDD bought it, yeah. Sorry, brother. Hello, good morning. Critic. Yeah, brother. Oh, there's a people in there and ain't doing good. Somebody just pulls up. I was people who don't call for, for buy the car. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody got money. No, but here, no. Here, I thinking, Pat, no. You could get a girl before girl don't call. <laughs> girl in a time with no fucking body, girl want to drive. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that PNC people, all the people in there and not do good. Look, you, somebody just do a fake thing and look, people don't call. You everybody here, the, the phone money. is rolling off. People got money, they're playing stupid. Exactly, and people uh, have more people in there. More car coming, coming in, more car coming in. Hold on, hold on. Let me sell care, let me sell care. Hello, good morning. Yeah, morning. Yeah, brother. Uh, I see you get them on the bed. Right? Yeah, don't sell. R. Kelly bought it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the price, though? The same price for the job there. Mm -hmm. How much? Safe. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, ma'am. I'm calling concerning um the Honda diesel on CM and SB. Okay, yeah, it's sell already. PDD bought it. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, the phone ringing there. You put a call from Fire and Alibi the place. Hello, good morning. Good, good morning. I'm interested in buying the car. Yeah, it's sell already. 
PDD bought What's it. What's the price? The same price what they have there. PDD don't buy it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. No, imagine she there in foreign and I tell her she PDD, but she still has it for the price. Okay. <laughs> Let's sell cars. Hello, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hi, my brother. Hi, how are you doing? I saw you got a post on Facebook. Yeah, the car sold car. already. Yeah, it's sold already. Sold? All yeah. Right, no yeah. problem. Harbour John is supposed to call this morning for Sunday. He ain't calling this morning. Y'all go by Harbour John house and see the fucking big dog. He got, he got, Harbour John got a big dog like a donkey. If the dog eat you. You understand? Because them big man, when you see them two days, they lock up in the house, get hard attack and like anything. Because when you're drinking Viagra and pumping and them thing now, it's cause different complications. Let me something. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. I see uh, you guys. Yeah, the car know. don't sell. R. Kelly just buy it. Yeah. 1.5? It just sell. It just sell. Okay. okay. <laughs> the price is 1.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. all right. Harbour Jack. <laughs> Harbour yeah, I just put you in it because I sent it below. We also check you for yeah. see if you drink Viagra and get heart attack in the house you alone. You yeah, understand? Because you supposed to call, you like call, you like yeah, the thing. I ain't no way you call him. This is what going on, Harbour Jack. What have you got there for? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning. Yeah, brother. Calling here, this car on the... Oh, yeah, it's sell already. Sell already. Yeah, R. Kelly just buy it, yeah. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah. Um, I saw you put up a vehicle for sale. Yeah, it just sell, it just sell. Oh, it sell already. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. Man, woman, and fucking child. Somebody can call from North School for buy the car or something. Hello, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, car for sale, critical car for sale. And here now, how people saw it, strip it. Remember, me number is the most known number. You would got people calling me. And knowing is me. When they watch the time, they ain't check nothing, nothing. Hello, good morning. Hello. Kritish, why are you so wicked, eh? What happened? Why are you so wicked? You're wicked. What happened? What do? <laughs> what do? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, I saw you have a vehicle up for yeah, sale. Yeah, it's, it's sold there. Uh, R. Kelly just bought it. Oh, boy. It's sold mm. up here. Yeah. Everybody hopes hi this morning. Hello, good morning. Good, day, good morning. I think you're in the wrong business. You need to open a dealership. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Oh, God. Some... Hello, good morning. Hello. Hi, good morning. Morning. Critic. Yeah. All them people who are called for a car for buy, right? Mm hmm What? We're going to tell all of them to let them go stand this funeral home at the front of the vehicle park. I'll tell all them to go and up and see if they're going to see the vehicle. You want to do stand this, the man, they're going to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You don't want to treat them, but you want to... Here, you, you got to remember, they ain't do it willfully. Somebody set me up. You understand? And involve yeah. them. So you gotta let them down nicely. You can't you can't diss them and and create one confusion and so people don't expect me to do them kind of thing there. Right? Safe buddy. Yeah, Harbor John. What to you there just now? Yeah, brother. How you doing? Talk to me. I sent you a video there. I mean in enough of car sales. I sent you a video there yesterday it was on the news. Hmm. And I, I I would like to um Take the opportunity on your platform to to tell Guyanese wherever they are in, in, in which community when they see things happen if they don't help the police to apprehend perpetrators and everybody keeping confidential we can't bring nobody to justice right now you have a woman who went in her farm to pick mangoes and she was brutally murdered and raped and got her throat her throat slit by some low life like you said you know so you know. I, I, I need people out there to be more cooperative, bridge the gap between police and resident in terms of assisting because it's be very hard to get 
to get people to convict if people not come out and, and, and speak what they no, see. But you know? Again, Harbajan, a lot of times the community harbor these people. They're drug you people are not coming out and talking, people are not saying, listen to me, you can't be a part of this community if you're not a a contributing citizen, a member of the community. Mothers are covering up the wrongdoings of children. You know, it's ridiculous where our society is going. Like them thing, the partner, I would be shocked for somebody loosely do somebody wrong me. We air your hair. That's why I come in this area. I can't uh, tolerate, facilitate, accommodate certain things. Me and my neighbors might not be in 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 speaking terms not a problem me is not a by nature gaffing neighbor and island hello hi and i done with you today right but i have to look out for the women that live around here i have to look out for the people that at night i run over a man they open the fucking man mango try that as a thief my city man slip in the man thing and i go and surround the yard and got the thief man out of the mango tree I thought he may know he go for thief mango. I would have never made a big fuss about it, but I just saw a man slipping into my neighbor's yard. I came down and I went and apprehended him. When I found out he was stealing mango, so I let him go. You understand? Because me neighbor ain't climbing no fucking tree for getting no mango. This is a yeah, residential you know, area. This is Queenstown. Cool. So, but nonetheless, I had to come out. I don't have the man going to do anything to me, neighbor. I called the neighbor. I said, by the point, he's there. You black out from inside. I definitely said, we never see the man. Not knowing is the man any mango trees. When we start hollering, we can fire shots up. And as I say, my ass are shooting the tree. The man come down from the tree. You understand? But how many would do what you do? How no, many but would do like it is you important. Did? Here was the funny thing. We assume that it's us alone, that we got to take care of ourselves. No, 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 no. There used to be a saying that no longer is recognized or respected that it takes a community to raise a child. Because when the child leave the home or leave the confines of the home, which the mother or father has control of and could have protected them, who is to protect them? It is fair minded, good standing citizens have to see them walk a pass, have to ensure that they, no harm is brought to them. And likewise, if you expect that somebody to look over and protect your child as they pass through the streets, you also should be able to recognize when your child is acting in an unmanly way, those persons should be able to bring up your child. But you got mothers cussing out. What you got to do is walk behind your fucking degenerate picnic. This way you gotta do. You gotta put an ankle strap in the gap, cause some ankle strap because this is the criminal ways that, that going on in America. True, true, because you see what happened is, right? A lot of crime is happening, petty crime. I'm not talking big on it. They're little by stealing here for smoking little drugs, I think. And they ev eventually become big criminals. But if people see things in different communities in this country, people have a tendency to, oh, well, me, see nothing. Then you blame government. Listen to me. How you gonna get the country? Yeah, I got to start doing some whipping one one police. time. You got to do some yeah. whipping one <laughs> one time. You beat the child and the mother. In America, a father and a mother has just been sentenced to the vicinity of 15 to 25 years. Um, hold on, I got to take this girl. Hi. Hey, good morning. Hi, morning. Where the guy? Where the... Which walk? Diamond? They're going straight to Bellevue? When they go there, they can see what's going on. They just gotta make themselves known, tell them make themselves known, they can see what's going on. Cause barge um pantoon and stuff building there right now. So they can fall and engine every day on the ground, they man and fall in and know what we gotta do. I, I got them I just gotta show them well, here where we gotta go down. And once they know what's going on, it's day we depend on for guide we. Right? Safe, Roger. Roger that, thanks. Let me get back to Harbor John. Yeah, right? No, you got to whip them in America. Uh, yeah, Harbor John, I was telling you, in America, a mother and a father just been convicted for an act, a criminal act, shoot up at a school shooting that was committed by the child. Some sort of responsibilities have to be taken by the parents. If you see your child acting in the money, you can't cover it up. If your child is abusing you, like, for instance, people don't know most serial killers started by killing animals. 
And, and yesterday, the couple of suspects were the police hold up for this murder. The parents are already at the station. All three suspect parents. No, I well, don't understand, but you know. Must, must look that if the only thing you got is your child, you got to take care of your child. Because if you hold up 10 cells, there can't be 10 people rape Shanky. Well, is any fucking thing possible right, in these right, days right. and age banner? Because you could get 10 stupid people yes to come together and do something as stupid as that. It's unfortunate that a woman had to lose her life in such a brutal manner. It, it's unfortunate that today men still see women as objects. Because I can tell you, that man who slit the woman's throat, raped she. You understand? Is an animal. Yep. And does not see a woman in her true form, in her true nature, as a thing that needs to be protected and to be nurtured and love that part than a human. Me in a case, what drugs are, what cars, the person are acting that way, but I'm telling you, me having no sexual act with a woman that she does not want. I don't do any fucking sex act with no bad mood. I can't get it up uh, for putting a woman who are hollering. No, no, no. Because I've been brought up a certain way. I have a certain understanding of what the relationship's supposed to be like between a man and a woman. In the past, I was abusive. We got story, me and them by his mother's story, me shiting by she. I slap she, however, there's a different thing. When you got a man that brutally attacking a woman and finds the urge to commit a sexual act with her, something is off with that kid, that, that poor individual. You understand? It, 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 the woman is a single mother, three, three children, a eh? single mother, trying to make an honest. But, but let's hope, you know, that, that, that the culprit get... Uh, Was caught and brought justice to justice. And we, we, yeah, we that, talk harbor, Jan. Start putting the, the death penalty in place now, Roger that. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Yeah, brother. Yeah, honor, brother. Super now. It's already sold, brother. It's already sold. It's already sold. Mm -hmm. oh. right. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Um, I see you put up an ad with a car. Yeah, Hello? it's already sold. Oh, it's already sold. Okay. Mm. No. You hear how much people call in for bike here? How thing bad in this country, right? Now, nobody in calling to talk about the thing why they want you to talk about. Nobody in calling, and I dare. It's one thing, I'm busy now. My name humble you. I saw your number on Facebook. What's the price for the visa? Hello, good morning. Hello? Hi, good morning. Hey, morning, morning. I'll get it. I'll be here. The vehicle sell. R. Kelly just buy it. The vehicle just sell. Yeah. Oh, okay. R. Kelly <laughs> bought it. Uh, what happened? What, where are you going with me, Kier? Okay. So, this is something that. What is this person going to say? Put care for you, put up on your other woman. See what's going on. You better than Jap parts and all these people. No, no, but that is why we have the largest viewership. That tells you from just that ad, that tells you how people are trying. We just got put up a Facebook thing. That tells you how Facebook covers. It's not on me page. I see you have a care of a sale. You understand? That loan you could use and figure out how far track people. Restart, let's give it for heinous crimes, execution for heinous crimes. Yeah, it makes sense. So let me let me address a concern. Because just something I say. A plane ain't. And I, I expected people to call this morning and say, man. What are you fighting for man? What big man fighting for man? Come on man. Put us up in the tomorrow program, we can deal with this. I want I, I got things to do, I got uh, I got things to do. Now to address this issue that came to my attention. 
after my morning program yesterday, um, Smelly Smell puts up this and says, this is evidence and thing. Now, this is my second son. And um, unfortunately, he's not presently part of the Rodriguez family. Um, he's not a bad kid. He's been struggling with authority since his mother left. All the boys them had the same problem. Paul and Michael have been able to deal and address their issues. Um, I am going to take responsibility and say I failed with this kid. I failed miserably with this kid. Somebody's got to take responsibility somewhere. And I find him... I find his attitude on becoming to what is expected of a Rodriguez. So I cease to have contact with him and any association with him. Now, this comes up. Nonetheless, he's my biological, he's my son and needs be addressing. People here, I tag, but he said, every time I relax, my mother just like, what the Sean? I said, Ma, Sean is the last cause. That Sean going to find his way out in the world. Eh? He thinks he knows everything. He's at that age where he thinks he knows everything and he got life covered and this and that. He's worked in the Gulf of Mexico. He's worked in, in, in Texas. So this show up. Now, why do I have to discuss it? Because it's my son. She posted it up. And I talk about everybody. How not my son. Well, let me explain first thing. Just like Smelly Smell yesterday, I did not know what this is about. I actually found out after. Yeah, please send the, the, the Facebook post to me so I could um I could report the after. page. Yeah, please send it. So um in light of me saying, let me say first thing, some of the problems that I have with my son. Being disrespectful, my son is not known to be a thief, participate in any criminal activity in Ireland, but I can't take disrespect. Disrespect to the utmost. Every time he get a little money, he's get excited, like he could take care of himself. He, he, he's fighting with these personal issues that he have, and I have failed miserably as a father here. I'm willing to accept that. But my odds are good. Two to one, you know, I've done with two and I've lost one. Yes, that's how I got it in my head. I lost one. Now he's seen here with what's called an AK-47. It's a Kalashnikov. And the truth is, in Guyana, only members of the police force, the Guyana Defense Force is there going to be? Where is this happening like this? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, only members of the police force, the Guyana Defense Force, and people don't know. Some gold mining security services are licensed to carry Kalashnikovs, AK, better known as the AK-47. Right? And if there was a photograph like this, by the way, if you look at the top of the page, this kid I classify him as a young clown. Because if you look at the top of this page, this came from his Facebook thing. But as if God were to say, critic, if you don't pray to me and believe in me every day, I can take care of this by for you. He always miss it belly bell like the fresh prince of belly. When I see the thing, I say, why could do? The police would have to investigate us where he get this from. 
And if it's like, answer to prayers that I didn't make, I am to find out that is not in Guyana. And that is in an American state where it is not illegal to do what he is doing. When we hear them, I say, <laughs> God, you, you, you watch over here, partner. Me enable them over them. Me enable. Now it's unnecessary attention I get. Now even if this was Guyana, it can't be used because you see the dots so deep in the eyes. It's a distortion of the image of your cancer, but I am telling you, that is my son. Because after it was posted to Facebook, somebody messaged me and tell me, is where? It is in an American state. The owner of the firearm, I know, and there was no wrongdoing there. It didn't happen in Guyana, because smelly smell put up a show. One the Americans and every other. Well, the fucking Americans is they that got them doing them shipping as they in the country. Right? It takes people that where it's real, are it in real, uh, tag the government, tag the president, tag the fucking UN. They could call the kid. They could get on to the kid. And the kid could prove where he was at the time when the purchase taken out. And the owner of the weapon is also known to us. He could say, yes, it's mine. And we could bring clarity to this. And that's how it should be done. Again, My son is not no fucking criminal. If you, this is in America. And this is in the house of one of the nicest families, the nicest set of people I know. You wouldn't even believe. Everybody just, oh, Christian, good people. You understand? I'm going to church every Sunday. I got a kid in the house. Instead of rolling in America. He go, you see the gun. You take out picture. Right? When I hear that, I said, thank God, and it could be proof. The Guyana police force know how to reach me. I would make them a bill. I don't, I don't got your number. I don't want to talk anybody. I don't want to talk anybody. Because it's things like that. I tell you, I said, partner, stay grounded. We don't got. We life don't set. You got proof to nobody nothing. You ain't got proof nothing. All you got to do is stay grounded. This kid travels the world. Go walk in the Gulf of Mexico, walk in Texas with oil companies. Now as a pose up to me, what the fuck you want to for? Now, not only that you ain't got a picture, I like me. I got enough picture with nothing. When you start seeing me with guns, it's teaching Guyanese how to use gun, how to lose up a gun, how to service a gun, something meaningful. Now for pose up to say I got a gun, I, I there with a gun. Luckily for evening, the state would have happened in the picture. You can't get charged for taking a picture with gun. You can't get charged for having a gun in his possession. Right? Because he's carrying. It's a license and it is, yes, it's a real gun. Because we're asking if it's, if it's what, what kind of gun. It? Right? I said, Banner, no, you imagine she go up on heap. Here we have no. I can't go up on the page. He accept me as he friend. Me can't go up on the page. But he friends them. He don't understand what's envy. He see this thing with me and as the dean. He see that people who are friends could become your enemies. People who are better than you. You just gotta make one more step up in the ladder. They watch you. Okay, you coming too close? So he got Facebook friends. He got you think private. He realized why I'm taking what to say. Well, just look, critic talking about thing. Let me throw something in the works for you. These are frenemies, not friends. 
and I'm saying, "Would you want to put whoa, whoa, whoa?" On a talk with one of them, they had he they walked some fucking way the valley and like you know, gun and I mean he went to school together. I said, broke, stay grounded. You can't get cake and bake. You can't get your cake and eat it. People that's striving and hustling and struggling for opportunities to get up. Will you pamper that to yourself or you're gonna draw envy to yourself? I do it. I just do it, don't be me. Because I didn't to show business. When smelly smell talk about me, she carried me message where I want to go, areas that people wouldn't just come that ain't attracted to me. She carried my message there. You understand? I didn't to show business. I constantly need to maintain relevance. Sometimes I last track a thing and why I'm just looking for a fucking problem. And I, I just do them shit though. You ask us, everybody come on here every day. You all ever hear me talk about health and, and, and wealth? You know, I could make a roti, cook food. They got so much things I could do. I could talk about construction. I could go by the road. I don't have to talk about these hungry belly people. I just like a fucking problem. Problem is my business. That's how I say let me say bye, smelly, smell, sir. When she said, put up this thing yesterday, I miss get a headache. I said, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this kid? Then somebody messaged me. I said, man, I know this room. I said, who you know? I said, because I don't know the weapon. Because it's this person's weapon. So thankfully, that's been laid to rest. And I can tell you, I ain't hip hip and hooray and all that. When I fucking disassociated myself with this guy, it's because I know scunt like this is going to come. And I say, yo, not me. Me ain't taking no responsibility for stupidity. No, look at he, look at the perception that is created about him by smelly smell. A fucking no entity degenerate hungry belly low life woman. You understand? Trying to make it out for me at that. No, no, no. You ain't nobody. This is just a regular day for me. And nothing personal. I was telling somebody the other day. Smelly smell. Trying to do what you do it. She in the me realm. But it's like cricket. The game is playing. The game is interesting. Somebody got lash six. Somebody got bowl out somebody. But at the end, who becomes the winner? North Batman get bowl out. Is the team. I play for team Guyana. Smelly smell playing for team destruction. You understand? When it's said and done, like she posts up, we'll talk about this now. You got the evidence. I would have fucking. Listen to me. I done call somebody. I said, what going on? The man said, they can't do nothing with though. The police said, they can't do nothing with it because them two dots upon the eyes. They can't do nothing with it. Because my son, I got to answer everybody. See it. They talk. Me talk by everybody's story. Paul had an accident the other day. I talk by his story. Me get yeah, problem, I talk with me in frightening. I got a whole different dimension that I've created. And I'll do this by attitude and behavior is not to my likeness. He a hundred percent better than fucking smelly smell. He life set. At the age of 23, he already walking in Texas. And in the Gulf of Mexico and oil rigs. Yes, he life set. He got him experience. The problem is he's not grounded. As soon as he catch you, he get him money. He want to show you bigger than me. He want to compare his son. Calm your fucking self down. You ain't got self, you ain't got the knowledge, you ain't got the background. You will never be. You be you. You don't try to be a me. I have a vice note with this by drunk and customer. Me father's guy, you should have called me father. And I tell him, don't fucking call me. 
I want nothing to do with you and you disrespect. He tell me they, if me got money for you. I said, fuck you. Wherever is he troubles? Wherever is he troubles? I ain't saying it's he fault. I saying it's me fault. I have failed as a father with him. But I don't have a solution to the problem. What am I going to do? I have two sons. I have two other sons. I have people that I'm employing. I have people I gotta take care of and fucking do run behind me and cry for the rest of my life. I have an empire. I envision building. I got pump station and enough work for do. You go there and see what the world has to offer. See how you gonna make it scunt. You a man. That's how we roll in the Rodriguez family. When you reach 18, we let you out there. Go out there. It's a European style. Me and I use the Indian man, the black man style, your whole and all. I be there in a fucking house. You used to live here, had a room. And every I said, partner, you can't de hey. You can't de and shove this and de hey. Nobody can de and shove this around me. People are expecting certain things from me. And I can't have an associate with anybody, even blood. That would bring disrepute to myself and others associated with me. Because of the fact that I continue to come out and speak loudly. They got women. They got mothers. Indian people and black people just do it. Got criminal picnic. No, bail them three, four times. Listen, no. That by you know, no fucking criminal. He's a dunce youth. He's just stupid. And this guy, when he's there bad, he, he think he's grown there. As soon he gets a little money, flying. He flying high. He's getting all excited. Why should I say, partner, this is not show time. Look at your other brothers. Look at people. Look at what we do. If he can get what he want, and when he want, he dip on a high horse. So when people think they ain't got no limits for me, I am the Guyanese critic and the realest thing in the world. Unfortunately for people who are building families and building riches, I am building a legacy. I too am not perfect. But I thrive every day to be better than I was yesterday. And with this boy, I can say today, he is not at fault. I am at fault. I can't fix my fucking own problem. I get rid of it. I will not continue to be going and trying to fix and mold. You're 23 years of age or 22 years of age, you got knowledge. Luckily, I went to go and check yesterday, he's 22. So in the state where he was holding this, in the American state, where he was holding the Kalashnikov, once you're 21 years of age, you can handle a firearm. You understand? Know and I felt relief. I said, this man, I waited for people, y'all is a fucking set of people, y'all and easy. Everybody, know this day up and nobody can say critical like you're attack by your son and put it up there i got it that's a waiting for when somebody say critical like you're not attack by your son but it's not to beat up on y'all there's the love that people got for me people ain't really care and people has applied this to their lives and i see it and i respect people for it people would go down for the picnic Unfortunately, me can't do that. Here what happened. I am not here as a result of the responsibility that I have to my family. I am here respected, revered, disliked. All sorts of feelings my existence ignite. 
as a result of my allegiance to the people, not the family. So people don't know why I do what I gotta do. Like a man thinking, oh God, me do it well and me got a son. No, no, me can't agree. Me got two sons left. Me got three sons. One gonna fall. He ain't listening. He ain't being guided. I got two sons that I got for the pushing behind. You imagine, people don't know how families fall apart. You imagine two sons, one who got a son now and be, made me a grandfather. And as a very diligent father, I see him going in the direction, a better direction than I had gone when I was a father, when, I, when he was growing up as a child. Giving his son everything. And being the father that I was not to him. You imagine I know turning back and going for a whole land to some fucking body like an anchor. That will rock the boat of the family. You imagine me young son there following up at the construction company and getting mine and aspire for doing things and I every day. We do it, Sean. We do it, Sean. It can't work like that. It can't work like that. At times in your life, you gotta let go of the things that are gonna hold you back. And he's gonna find a way. Now, how I make it out to song like me. In relationship, I can't if I tell a woman to do something and she don't, it's just that me and a bit problem. Now, Sean is worst case scenario, a disobedient child. Yeah, Sam? He ain't got no criminal pass. He is worst case scenario, a disobedient child. Now, me, knowing what disobedience is going to bring, disrespectful and disobedient. Because it's internal family issues. Right? Me knowing what that can bring. Me come out and say, hey, not me by me, they would say, hey, a man call me. Show me working with some gold mining company and getting some fight with somebody. And say somebody's call the identity. I said, me not fucking me, me they know. He tried it. You know how much chances Sean get? Sean drink up the rum. I had a bike here for TBN, a black, brand new bike we bought from Joyling. Drink up the rum, come and pick up the bike, go and ride in through Lama Street, fall down in a hole, brocky fucking shoulder, boss up the whole face. The police, the police, no less the police. Call me and say, critic your Sunday. I say, yeah, I'm fucking lucky up. The policeman says, Critic, you can't, this man of condition can't lock you up in this condition. The police help you as a result of him being my son. Does the heart the people in this country got for me? You feel I could continue to condone nonsense just because people showing love for me? You believe I could continue to cover up disrespect and I'll just because I'm Guyanese critic and he's me, son? No. That's not me. If does you is used do for you, child, I respect it because something that's all you got. I got a little more. I got enough people, enough children, women, men, everybody who love me. I got a little more for deal with. I got certain responsibilities. I got certain ways I got to care myself. Because the expectation from me is high. Not to say they're not going to make mistakes. My kids make me don't cover up nothing. I try my utmost. I say, here, stay focused. Don't drive drunk. Don't, you understand? We think, let me stay focused. We depend on a role. We want to get involved because everybody's got problem. Everybody's got accident. If smelly smell get the accident, I supposed to come and, or your son or your child, I supposed to come and beat up that, oh God, it's smelly smell. And, and no, man. This can, these things can happen to any, accident can happen to anybody. Nervous breakdown, psychological problem issue could happen to anybody.
and even smelly smell as much as I have this day for if something I'm just somebody associated with she Nartan son do something oh Nartan son no 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 come on could happen to anybody hit a king son wrong place wrong time could happen to because the kids so it highlighted we got an imbalance in our society we got an imbalance in our society. And we're working and getting it sorted out. I take the lead. In being the bigger man and saying, you, I can't deal with it. I will not deal with this. And, and hands up to certain things. You understand what I'm saying? I have a responsibility. A man called me, sent a voice note to me and said, Critic, fucking tell you I always got to deal with boy. Oh shit, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't. I, I change his phone and so I have the voice note and thing where the story and then I'm gone. My car, I said, Critic, your Sunday cost me even bad. Drink up rum. I said, Son, your head can't take liquor. You got problems, you got issues coming way back from me and mother's separation. Like he never really fully fathomed it. Because we were a tight knit family. We just was everything was we all together. And they saw the kind of love we had for the mother. And so it's still confusing. And me and them never talk. The mother, when they go, when they go to America, the mother tell them all kind of thing. I never tell them nothing about the mother. Because I don't have nothing to say to the mother. Why could tell them about the mother? He's not a kind of banner. So we never had it resolved. We never discussed why me and the mother separate and all them things. So they hear things about me, they come back. It's conflicting because remember, I'm there with them all the time, taking care of them. I hold down with them. I fight with them. So it's conflicting between this bad dad, this not perfect dad, this dad who was always there, bad dad from the mother's side, which she's saying, yes, yeah, me ain't no perfect dad because I harsh with them. Like Michael tell me that he, Michael says, um, Dad, I went into a dark place. When I hear you from the phone, say fucking lock you up. The doctor called me and tell me, man, um, you know this thing again. I said, do what the fuck you got to do business. We into a show business. Lock him up. I don't play. Now, for me, send the vice, this man a cussing up. Me father's child, I say, yeah, I'll try with fucky he. He's not part of, no longer part of the Rodriguez family. Yeah, I'll try with he. No, again, I said, the reason I'm this way is because I have been bestowed with a responsibility. I am not perfect. People don't look to me to be the perfect one, the most well-dressed one, the most well-kept individual. But people expect me to be fair. People expect me to be upstanding to some extent. You know, a man came here yesterday and said, Critic, the gun is a fake gun. Don't worry about the post. Set up thing. The driver set up. I said, I ain't fucking know about that. And that by just chop it. At the time, I didn't know was where it happened. I didn't realize it's in the States he took the picture. Because I didn't own enough foot. I said, yeah, I'll have to for come for play cover up for he. Meaning they ain't that. Guys, I think we've had a long, interesting day. Let me go long. I got this visa for sale. Steady cars coming in for the visa. Yeah, I'll take care. Peace out. Keep it real.